What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. And today, today we're talking Chainsaw Man. Man. Yo, let's give a spoiler-free review and then we'll jump into this bad boy. Let me jump into this synopsis from IMDb. Let's see what it has to say about Chainsaw Man. You're listening to me. Um, there we go. I was just, you know, buying time so I can pull it up. Following a betrayal, a young man left for dead is reborn as a powerful devil-human hybrid after merging. Okay, let's leave the synopsis alone because that's going to spoil the whole first episode. <laughs> <laughs> that's the first episode. But guys, what do you think? Spoiler-free thoughts. I'll go first. I'm just it's simple for me. I loved it. I loved it. I'll, I'll go second. It's simple for me also. I loved it. I loved it. I'll go third. It's simple for me also. I loved it. Like loved it. Like I don't watch much anime, but I watch enough anime. And this might be my favorite first episode of any anime I've ever seen. Like the first episode. Yeah. It hits hard. Oh, yeah. See what Chris, this guy has to say. What do you think? I'd actually keep watching, to be honest with you. I would keep watching it. Uh give it a shot. It was pretty that he said I would I wouldn't, get, I wouldn't I'm not gonna get it's not even a choice for me. It's not a choice. And I don't like reading subtitles. I don't read <laughs> yeah, I, I thought about that too. I'm like, <laughs> subs over dubs? Am I, I a real it. anime guy now? <laughs> but no, nah, it was it was cool. It was cool. Like, look. It's no secret, I'm not an anime fan, but I try going with open mind and I liked it. I liked it. I wouldn't go with I loved it, but I wouldn't have watched it if you guys didn't, you know, recommend it. But I want to watch Hocus Pocus too, but you know, whatever. We're cool. oh, wow. We did vote against Hocus Pocus too. <laughs> but yeah, I, well, so in all fairness, we, we were debating between Hocus Pocus 2, Chainsaw Man, and Halloween. Halloween ends. Halloween. Halloween the last ends. Halloween ends. Which, last which Halloween. I think we dodged a bullet there. Yeah, I think we I did. dodged yeah. all the bullets. And I, I started watching know. Hocus Pocus. No, Hocus Pocus. Don't uh, no, wait, 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 wait. Hint, wait hints don't some respect started Hocus watching. Pocus. Yo, no, they don't no. even come into the movie for the first 30, 30 40 minutes of it. That's so, fine. Well, that is fine. Them. Do not. Let's get back, back to Chainsaw Man. Name. You're right, you're right, you're right. So Chris here we is go. lukewarm. You're almost off the show there. You're almost off the show. <laughs> no, 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 no. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. I, I did like it. Let's jump into this recap. And let me start off by saying this is why I loved it. We are jumping into a world that's very supernatural. But it didn't do that anime thing, Rich. It didn't do in this world. There's 90% devils and 30% human. Like it didn't explain yeah. it. You kind of just nope. figured it out as you went. Nope. And on. they set up character development. You, you First, you get introduced to this kid and he starts talking about all the things he's had to do to try to pay some of his debt off. His eye, no. his kidney, his testicle. His yeah. testicle. Cut off his nut. Just to pay his debts off. And he didn't even get 100,000 100, 100, yen for it. Uh, actually, to be correct, it wasn't even his debts. It was his father's debts. His father's yes. debts that he yes. inherited. And that's common, I think, in, in a lot of Asia. I know in Korea, the your debt from the, your, that your family incurred, your father incurred, you can inherit that debt. So it might yeah. be, I'm not sure if in, it's probably the same way in Japan where if your this family was, has debt, you inherit This wasn't debt. even like oh. debt, like a loan. This was like his dad did some business with some oh, loan shark true. type dude. Yeah. It's almost yeah. like yeah. paid him yeah. right. yeah. Thirty-eight million, like thirty-eight million yen. I saw it when he was showing his ledger. And he was like yeah. doing the math. He was like he was in the hole. Thirty-eight million yen. And he's doing Dude. stuff for like a hundred thousand. Yeah, it's a lot of jobs, man. So we pick up with Denji. I um, mean, you we were going down this corridor, and he kind of wakes up from a dream, and he's pretty much living in a shack with this dog with a chainsaw for a face. Chainsaw and face dog. Chainsaw face dog, and he has to oh, go to God. work. And that's where, yeah, we hear about all the things he had to do to cut his eye, his his uh, liver, like a kidney, his testicle, mm -hmm. trying, and cutting down trees. And also, he slays. He's cutting people. down trees with his chainsaw face dog. Yes, <laughs> so great. <laughs> Thousand a month. Perfect. It's, it's perfect. just like it's it's and it's so natural for him. That's the world, right? It just is Dude, what it is. It, and you accept it right away. And he has to slay this devil that looks like a tomato, and he does it pretty you know, easily. But he does it because the guy hired him as a hunter to pay off these debts. And the older dude shows up and says, I'm about to give you, what do you say, like 300,000 yen? 
but I got a interest fees and management yeah. fees and finders yeah. fees. <laughs> he walks away with like 70,000 yen, which I think I read it was like only like 400 bucks that he's supposed to live off of. Um, which is not much. He's basically like, we'll just eat bread tonight. And he's walking with this dog. And then we learned what happened. Dude, the driver of that guy was like, I'll give you a cigarette for how much? 10,000? 100, 100, 100, 100 yen. 100, 100 yen. yen if you eat yeah. the cigarette. Dude, and he didn't. He's crafty. Like that. He held it under his tongue, but he was like, man, I got these cheeseburgers, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's one step above that. Yo, well, when... We do the flashback and we see the, the, the dudes say you have to pay off your father's debt. Do what you got to do. Whore yourself out. He says yeah. whatever you got to do. And it was like he's talking. That um, that set me up for how deep this content is. Yep, he told yep. this boy to whore himself out. I don't care what you got to do. Or we're cutting off body parts. Man. So basically, when that dude walks away, he's standing over his father's grave. And then he sees the, the devil, the chainsaw-based dog show up. Looks this like is a boy. flashback. For anyone who missed that part. And he's bleeding and he's like, Oh, you're dying. And then he says, If you drink my blood, you'll live. And oh. then does so. And he's like, Well, we have a deal. You have to help me because I help you. And he goes to the dude and says, I'll kill devils for you. That's simple. And they form a bond. And yeah. why is his teeth like fangs? Or that's just um a part so of the animation. In, in the opening, when you see him rolling with that crew, a lot of them have teeth like that. I don't know if it's a devil hunter thing or, or what. But he had uh, that before or, in the flash. Yeah. yeah, he had it as a kid too. So it's like it's probably just part of the world, you know. You're in a a world where demons and devils and odd creatures exist. Some people got fangs. Yeah, yeah. and I wonder if going for it if that's a way they also show class distinction, like mm. people who don't can't take care of their teeth and it's kind of like. Hulu. Wow! For those wow. of you who just tuned into our you YouTube you version of this. Chris I is trash show. about those who watch Hulu. Please light him up in the comment section. <laughs> and those listening to the podcast, we apologize. <laughs> we just apologize. So, yo, and 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 then she's sitting around like talking to, to talking to uh, Puchita is his name, Puchata, Puchita, talking about all the things he wants. Like, I want jam on my bread, Puchi. I want, on my bread. I want jam on yeah. my bread, and I want to get laid. Yeah. <laughs> That's he doesn't even say that. He said he just want to get hugged. He just wants he to watch play video games and fall asleep hugging. I'm like, you know, hugging. Right. It's way mm. more uh, wholesome. But he, did, but he did say he would like to score before he dies. Yeah. <laughs> he said, <laughs> he did he did. That. It was hard for him. He got one eye, got one nut. It's hard for him in these streets. Yo, apparently, the dude goes to work. He has no problem getting up and going to work. He got Damn. one nut, one liver, one kidney. No liver, one kidney, one eye, and he still gets up off his butt and goes to work. But y'all sitting at home, listen to this podcast, listen to us at work. <laughs> Man, so then he goes, he gets summoned, he goes, and he's in this warehouse, and then like he sees the, his handle of the Kusa guy, and then like immediately this dude is like shanked through the chest with a sword, him and Poochie. It was like a zombie so guy. He, zombie, so yeah. He, he zombie was like, crazy. So here's the point I was confused about. So we know the accused guy is a zombie. Was he a zombie this whole time? Because they were saying no, he, no, no, he, he just he, became the zombie. Yeah, he right. struck a deal with the, the zombie demon. The, the devil, yeah. And to for it to get more power, but I think that was kind of like a double cross because he turned him into a zombie. Ah, uh, okay, okay, no. okay. See, I, that's the part. I don't understand whether he always had this power and he was and he was kind of like hiding it, or yeah, I was no. just confused about no. the whole zombie. It, they set up and they set thing. it up. He 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 takes dead devils. He's in search for power. He wants power, and yeah, he struck a deal with this thing beforehand. And that thing was like, I want you. I'm gonna use you to help me kill freaking devil hunters. Yeah. I hate them. And this kid's not even a real devil hunter. Like they talk about devil hunters who yeah. probably make war make war, way more money and don't turn yeah. over dead devils to gangs. This yeah. kid is not even a real hunter. He's just trying to kill off his debt. He has no gripe against devils. But he's there. He gets freaking rammed through the chest. And I, I wasn't ready for how graphic this was gonna get. Like Ooh. they butchered him. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Hacked him apart. The, Dude. The, the, and what he's saying is, 
they hacked apart the lead protagonist who we've grown fond of at this point in a way where we know there's no coming back. They right. kill him like yeah. dead, dead. Brutal. And, and this is this is how amazing the writing is. They made us fall in love with this kid in five minutes. I mean, the show is only like 20 minutes long. Yeah. And it reminded me of Robocop. Remind me of those movies where like you see the guy just brutalized in the like to the point where it's hard to watch, and he they they threw him in the trash can. And then we get this great flashback, this well placed flashback that sets the whole rest of the series up. Oh, it's so good, and 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 they used it wisely because they said if the devil drinks your blood, it can heal. So while the devil dog also got killed in the trash can. Dude's blood is dripping into the dog's mouth, which allows mm-hmm. the dog to heal and connect with um, Denji. And then, yes, we get this beautiful flashback of this dude just talking about his dreams and what he would want. And he's like, man, I was dreaming about all this stuff instead of just enjoying my time with you, Poochie. Oh, in the f- Chris, this didn't it hit you in the feels? This didn't it make you feel like, it I love did. this no, show? Yeah, but in that yeah, flashback, yeah. what happens is we get this little tidbit of information. That a devil can, in some rare instances and occurrences, when the bond is strong enough, actually merge with a human. Yeah. yeah. And so while they're both laying dead in the dumpster and the devil dog is inadvertently healing because the blood of his best friend is dripping into his mouth. Oh, man, he remembers this flashback about his best friend and his subsequently kind of owner talking about his dreams. And the dog makes a deal in that moment. And he goes, I'm going to I'm gonna merge with you where I'll take possession of your body, but I'm giving you ownership of it so you can live out your dreams because that means more to me than anything. So the dog, who's yeah. supposed to actually take over the body, gives ownership over to the kid so the kid can live out his dreams. But what's interesting in the flashback is the kid says, when I die... Please take my body. Yeah. When I die, take my body from me and you live out the dreams that I can't. Right. This is beautiful. This is be this is like beautiful. Yeah. And then what happens after you have this like touching heartfelt moment, the guy's dismembered body parts fuse together with like uh-huh. Chainsaw uh, blades. Yeah, blades. And then he comes out of the dumpster. With both eyes completely healed. He probably probably got two nuts now. He 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 probably got six nuts because what happens next is the the full start coming out of his chest, which is kind of dope. Yeah. Uh, And he he pulls that thing down and the chainsaw, he turns into chainsaw man, and you get the most beautiful. You don't get that yet. You don't get oh, that yeah, no, yet, yeah, 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 yeah. Because he gets he gets dog powered again. Because now the zombie the zombie yeah. demon is telling him, okay, well, you know what? Instead of chopping him up, eat him so there's nothing left. So he gets dog piled, and but, but as he does that, he jumps out, rips the cord. Wait, before that though, happened. when he was dog piled, it looked like they were pulling that stuff. It was there was blood coming, but you never yeah, know. but you blood. you kind of heard this. Was he just well, healing as well, they were like tearing well, at him? I'm, he could have been healing. Who knows? Man, but zombie he, was like, eat him because he won't come back from being eaten. Yeah, but then he comes up out of that dog pile as Chainsaw Man, just ripping him to shreds. Oh, that was, was dope. And then beautiful. Dope. He went to dope. work on them. Oh, man. yeah, he did. If, like, Chris, I don't know how you're like, this is so-so. Like, this is the stuff of our Look, dreams. This scene, no, I, I, I didn't <laughs> want to talk about this scene in my spoiler-free, but this scene was, free, this scene was freaking oh, fire. Oh, I can even even with my not love of anime. This scene was like this, this is just I, re- I, I, I rewound it and I watched the scene twice because once he came out and once he started just going to town on these dudes with his head and his arms and just it was dope, bro. Yeah, it was dope. I gotta give it to this. To the and so he inviscerates all these kind of zombie yakuza things. Completely takes down the head boss devil creature, and then it cuts to the next morning. And you, what you get is basically what we know is going to be the backdrop of this series. You got three actual devil hunters. Like, these are veteran devil hunters that this is what they do for a living. 
It's our first introduction to this class of people. Mm -hmm. And they're coming to this warehouse to kill all the zombie Yakuza's and that devil. This is their mission today. But when they open the door, it's like... (laughs) It's like a football dismemberment. Slaughterhouse. Slaughterhouse. And in the middle of it, there's the chainsaw devil man looking thing. And the two of the two of the devil hunters are like, one of them's still alive. But the lady devil hunter who's in front of the other two guys is like, wait a second. He smells different. And she's Mm. bold. Dude, she's yeah. looking at this creature that, for all intents and purposes, he's looks like terrifying. He terrifying. Looks terrifying. Yep. Terrifying. And she walks up to the. She walks way too close to this terrifying chainsaw faced, chainsaw hands, chainsaw body man, covered in blood, surrounded by dismembered men. And she says, she says something about the way he smells, right? And yeah, he doesn't like a yeah. devil. He doesn't smell like human. He's like some in between, but he's not a devil. Because they were wondering, like, is he possessed? Then she's like, no. Well, not yeah, yet. They asked that after. Oh, because what he says in a whisper as he's passing out is, he asked for a hug. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She catches oh. him, giving him this hug, and his oh, chainsaw man. body parts melt away from his face. Can we talk face. about that? I was wondering how they were, how he was going to transform out. Yeah, and the fact that it just falls away, like it just oh, away, almost like peacefully just falls Clay, off. The it's, oh, it's just beautiful. That's what it reminded me of. It reminded me of watching clay fall apart in heavy rain. It just kind of yeah. like washed mm, off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Effortlessly, just kind of just falls off. Oh, it's so good. And then she gives him a choice. She says. I can either kill you where you are as the devil or you can be the human and we'll find you some breakfast. <laughs> he just wants some jam and bread. And the kid bread, says, bread, salad, coffee. That's what it is. The kid goes, well, what's for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, okay, we yeah. know where this is going. And, and, and there's such an innocence to that. Like he doesn't, he just wants food, man. Yeah. He just he wants doesn't food. want power. He wants a normal life, if anything. Yeah. And he wants a hug and maybe get laid. Before yeah. He di- before he dies. It's not a whole lot to ask for. Nope. Man. Um, guys, I know we don't give ratings to things that until they're finished, but we do say if we're coming back. And if you couldn't tell, I am coming back to this oh, content. Yeah. Like, I'm reading it. I don't read. Guys, I'm coming back reading it. <laughs> Yo, this had me. This had me like like Death Note had me. This had me like Berserk Episode 1 had me. This is like, I, I need to see how this plays out. And I really hope it's going to be good. After this episode, the world's different. Different care. It's going to be different. So yeah. I hope it, it maintains whatever this had. I'm sure it will, but it's going to be different. Uh, Rich, are you coming back? Oh, of course I am. You know I am. Like, come on. <laughs> like it just, from from the jump, it just it just had me, and I was like, "Yo, this is this is it. This is something special right here. There's something special coming out right now." Right? Yeah, I'm definitely coming back. It's special. It's like that that once in like a decade anime that drops that we'll just talk about forever. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like, yeah. Damn. I feel like this is it. Yo, Jack. Yeah. You know, it's it's funny you said that because you compared it to like s- some of the ones I would compare it to, like off jump. I'm like, yeah, this is like a Death Note experience. It's like a Berserk experience. It's like uh, Attack on Titans experience. What worries me, though, is episode two is really the episode that tells you what the content is. This, episode is just a, this one, is the prologue. This isn't even yeah. Act One yet. Episode yeah. One is a prologue, and it sets up the the character. But even that character is totally different. Starting Episode Two, so for me, yes, I'm 100 percent going back. Uh, I don't care what platform it's on. I'm watching it. Chris. But 
<laughs> but but I would almost reserve my rating or praise to exactly what echelon I think this content is going to fall under until we really see the world and the rest of the characters we're kind of going to be hanging with for a while. And I think that mm. you'll get that answer in episode two. That's fair. For me, this will be just a dope standalone mini short film if the other ones are whack. I'll still have episode and one. <laughs> so unexpected. When when I was looking at the three option, Hocus, Hocus Pocus, uh, <laughs> Halloween, and Chainsaw Man, I saw the image of Chainsaw Man and I was like, even if it's bad, it's going to be fun. It's going to look amazing. It's right. crazy looking. And it does. Like the anime, the animation for this is like CGI or something. It's something crazy cool. The opening was like that. The opening was kind of CGI. -ish. It's a crazy mix. And I love when, I love this new anime that, that really gets it right because it is physical. There's so much movement in this one. It, it's beautiful yeah. to look at. Yeah. It's beautiful. Chris. So this happens and, sometimes. And you better be careful, Chris. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. So this happens sometimes. Like, um, I'll watch, because I watched it earlier today, and then I'll come off of it and feel one kind of way. And then we'll sit here and we'll talk about it, and we'll talk about moments and stuff like that. And then you realize, I think I may have enjoyed this more than I realized. And I think sometimes, so with me, when it comes to comic books and cartoons, it's hand in hand. It's story and it's animation. And the story can be great. And if I'm not a big fan of the animation, it's kind of hard for me to get really enveloped in the story. And I think that's really my major issue with anime. Not that the stories aren't dope, because it's the storytelling is dope. It's that I don't prefer the animation style. Whatever it is about it, it's just not, it's just not for me. Mm -hmm. So it takes longer for me to get into the anime because I get a hard time getting developed in the world, but talking about it, talking about that scene, the the end scene, talking about how like everything that led up to him, like it's a dope, dope story. So I'll maybe keep. I think I I I I was hard on it in the beginning, but it it was it was good. It was it was it was good. So I'll probably watch it. I'll probably watch episode two, see how episode two pans out. But. I know me. Most likely after episode two, I probably won't watch it again. Do you need to log into my Hulu account to watch it? I still have Crunchyroll for the for another two weeks, so I'll watch episode two, but I no, I probably won't watch it again. Not Ooh. not not a dig on it. I just know how I am. We'll see if we'll see. Maybe it'll bring you back. Maybe, maybe it'll bring you maybe. back. I don't know. I'm still trying to recapture that match the ma the magic of Dragon Ball Z, but just have it. I don't know. You were you you were eight and you were and you're black, so you're already gonna like Dragon Ball. I was in high school. I was in high school and I got in Dragon Ball Z. Listen, and that first time is a special thing. It almost it's it'll never be yeah, the same, but it can still be special. So I'm, I'm still chasing that dragon, man. Are we talking about anime? That Lawrence is reading and excited to read the next episode. That you that's no, I yeah. don't like to read. Yeah, Listen, for, for Yana don't know, when me and Lawrence talk anime, it's usually like a, like six months to a year later because he has to wait for the dub to come out. Always. And, and at that point, like I, I don't have the same enthusiasm that he does because he just finished watching it where I'm just I'm like onto something else. But I'm now like that he's rich, watching it, my hero academia ended. It was crazy. Yeah. Like, okay. Yeah. I watched it six months ago. I'm like, yeah, I know it was crazy. And he starts going off with the stuff that is fresh in his mind. I'm sitting there trying to remember it. I'm like, did that happen? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was good. That was good. But now that he's watching it, I'm reading that. You're reading it? Oh, we can yeah, talk. Yeah, we can talk. We'll be talking, my hero. We'll talk freaking chainsaw, man. I'm reading. And when it's that good, it's easy to read. Yeah. Baki, I'm not reading Baki Han. I'm not reading that, Rich. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have to read that. That's, 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 dubbed. that's dubbed. The dubbed and the dubbed is good. Um, so y'all, if y'all can't tell. We pretty much loved it. And for Chris to say he liked it is is it's someone who doesn't like anime saying they liked it. So that's pretty big. If you like anime, you have to watch Chainsaw Man. I'm sure you did if you listened to this whole thing. So let us know your thoughts on how you felt about it. You can hit us up on Instagram. If you're watching us on YouTube, let us know in the comments section. And yeah, man, look, 
That's our show. Make sure you hit that notification bell. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you comment. We got reviews. We got toy hunts. We got comic book reviews. We got other movie and TV reviews and boxings. We got gameplay. We have everything here. So make sure you come back. Check us out. Same bad time, same bad channel. Peace. Peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Three Brothers and a Shot of Milk. We're talking.